Okay, I've bought a new alarm for my Volvo, which has arrived from the breaker's yard. Um, it went off last night after I installed it on the car, so I think it might have need of a new battery. So I'm going to fit a new battery in there. Here's my old alarm, which I opened up, and unfortunately the old battery had leaked all over the PCB here. I've cleaned it all off as best I can, but unfortunately it doesn't charge the battery and I'm still getting the alarm system service message on the car. So whilst I've got this one open, we can see how when we cut into it, if we can just cut in three millimeters or so all around the edge, then we can easily remove the housing. And then once we've got the housing off, we can remove the battery. So we'll have a look at the, the one I've received and we'll cut it open. Okay, put some ear defenders on for this bit. Okay, let's see whether we're in. Yep, I think we're there. Let's see the state of it. Oh, right, okay. So we can see here, I don't know whether I did that opening it up, I probably did, but basically the negative lead has come off the battery due to corrosion. And the main board that's that's probably okay. Don't know how well you can see that, but there's there's no acid from the battery on that. I think that's going to be okay. So unplug the battery. The positive is closest to the transformer. If you need to know that. Okay. Clip it back together. And we'll just check. The only wires that we could have cut opening it up actually are these two to the sounder. And we've missed those, that's that's fine. You can just clean this up with a standing knife afterwards just to remove these slightly melted bits off the edge and then glue it back together, so that's fine. We've got to get the old battery out. So I'm just going to use the multi-tool again to get that out. Okay, so there's the battery. Not in too bad a condition, but you can see it has started to leak. And that, if you left that, the acid I think that's leaking out of there would travel slowly down these wires and corrode the PCB, as I had in, in the, uh, the old alarm. So just gonna tidy up the back of the box now.
Okay, I won't bore you with that bit. I don't want to rush either, but uh, you just basically need to trim off the um, plastic battery cover here, the black battery cover, and these bits of plastic in the base. And then you'll be left with something open like this. Then the new battery will sit in there. And then I'll either put a new plug on, although I, the terminals are looking a bit dirty there, so I'll probably solder onto the back of the board here. So this, this big pad here is the negative, and that solder point, I don't know if that's in focus, can't really see out here in the light, but those two solder joints are on the back of the uh, JST connector on the other side. The one on that side is connected to this big pad which is negative and the other one is positive and I'll just solder my battery straight onto there. Glue it back together with some epoxy, airfix glue or just some insulating tape. Should be fine. Then put it back on the car and let it charge for maybe four or five hours, something like that. And then the uh, alarm system service message should disappear. Uh, there's no reprogramming required or anything like that. so. Um, just leave the car for a few hours and then come back and check that the indications disappeared um, from the instrument cluster the alarm's gone or well, the error's gone better better said <laughs>